Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to factorialize a number. <coughs> so we want to return the factorial of the provided integer. If the integer is represented with the, num with the letter n, a factorial is the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to n. Factorials are often represented with the shorthand notation of the number with an exclamation point behind it. For example, 5 factorialized is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, which is equal to 120. So only integers greater than or equal to 0 will be supplied in the function. Okay, so that means that this number, we don't have to calculate whether or not that's positive or negative. We want to remember to use read, search, ask if we get stuck. So right now, if we were to console log out the factorialize 5, we should get... 120 but we're not getting 120 we're currently just getting five so that's what we want to do so first off let's create a result so we can say result and that will be equal to zero well let's make it equal to one and then what we want to do is say um while number is greater than zero we want to say um result times equal the number and then we want the number to be minus equal one greater than or equal zero now okay so right now I'm getting zero which is not what we're looking for while the number is greater than zero num minus zero minus one so let's console.log the num to see what's going on five four three two one zero so let's say while number is greater than or equal to one. Hmm. What if it's two? And then, oh, here's what's going on. Okay, we want to keep this at, at, at zero. So what we're doing, if we get rid of this console log by compressing command and then the question mark key, that gives us, this comments out our number. So what's happening right now, well, like I'll redo this one. We're going five, four, three, two, one and then zero, and we're multiplying, z um, oh, no, we're not even multiplying zero. We're, our, we're, our result is just equal to num. But what's happened is our number has been n reduced down to zero, and that's why we're out of this loop. And so we're returning num. But we don't want to return num. We want to return the result. So the result starts at one, and then we pass in the number five. So while five is greater than zero, we want to, while five is greater than zero, the result is equal to uh, one, times five so then we get five and then we change num to four again number is greater than zero and then it's five the result has become five from our last one and it's times four which gives us 20 and then it goes to three um you know uh five times three is 15 and then two five times three is um times 15 is 30 and then uh one and then that's how we get the result but anyways we want to return the result instead of the number and that's why we're getting zero right now so if we return the result we get the 120 which is the number that we're looking for cool um so this is how you write it with a while loop um while loops are kind of tricky sometimes you can do it with a for loop as well uh, well first off let's run the test and see if this passed cool so this is how we do it with a while loop what if we wanted to use a for loop we could be like for we're gonna let i equal the number i is less is greater than zero and then we want to i we want to decrement i and then we can just say result times equals the number okay this isn't working why console.log the num if we console log the result you can see we go one, one five twenty five twenty 25. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see. The number i is greater than 0, i minus 1. So our 5, and then we come here, result is equal to 1. First off, we console log the result, which is where, why we get this guy. Um, next, our next move is we're console logging 5, which is the number. Oh, I see. What's happening is we're passing in the number. So what we want to do is do the result times i. 
and that gives us 120. So if we console log the I, you'll see that we go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So again, this is instead of using a while loop, we're using a for loop, which gives us a um, kind of a cleaner looking solution. Um, yeah, we run the test, that passes. So yeah, I just did it two different ways. Um, generally, if I were to do this, I would use probably this for loop, just because I use for loops a lot, and um, you run less of, an, of, a, of a chance of getting a infinite loop if you use a for loop. So I would use this guy. Um, but yeah, run the test and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.